What's up, YouTube? It's your butt. Dark light coming right back at you with another video. Today we're gonna be doing a reaction to another trailer, y'all. And I'm very hyped for it. And today we're gonna be doing it on Ghostbusters 3 Afterlife. Woohoo! I've been waiting on this for a while now, y'all. You know what I mean? Yes, I'm a big fan of Ghostbusters, buddy. Now, don't sit there and have me trying to name all the actors. Because, trust me, the only person I can remember is, uh... Dang. Sagorn and Reaver, and I think it was the first one. Yeah, I know all of them. I just can't remember actors or anybody by name. But, in this one, we're supposed to have Paul Rudd, a.k.a. That man in this one. Now, a little bit of backstory. Well, not backstory, but a little bit of information. I don't know nothing about this. I knew it was coming out because I was just scrolling around and come across something on my Twitter page that was just telling me that, that just told everybody, um, Ghostbusters... 2020, I think. And, you know, I was kind of shocked about it. But I was like, but is it really time for it right now? Hmm. I think it's been time. Because, um, now, I wasn't a big fan of the last Ghostbusters when it had the all women's, all females. But, you know, I, I didn't have a problem with it. I didn't. It's just, it, it wasn't my cup of tea. I guess. I mean, it's certain movies are like that, you know. I wanted to pretty much the same gang, whether they were old or having their grandkids or somebody playing their role. That's pretty much how I was saw it. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I didn't know nothing about it. But until a certain time, point in time, and I would just... You know, I didn't do no research on it. It was just something that I wanted to pop up at random. It's just like Wonder Woman. I want stuff to pop up at random. I don't do no research on it because I did. sometimes it always ends up becoming spoiled. Or, you know, even though the trailer sometimes mostly does the spoiling. Because I can I do a lot of speculating from a trailer. But anyway, let's get into it. And, uh, go. <laughs> what are you doing here in Somerville, anyway? Honestly, my mom won't say it, but we're completely broke. You look familiar. And the only thing that's left in our name is this creepy old farmhouse our grandfather left us in the middle of nowhere. Why'd you bring me up here? Because I always go into the middle of nowhere. <laughs> what is that? I don't know. Looks like slime is coming to save you today. Somehow, the well, town I mean, is anywhere near a tectonic plate that has no fault lines, no fracking, no loud music even, is shaking on a daily basis. Under the dining table now! Hey, remember that one summer we died under a table? I found this in my living room. Whoa, killer replica. A replica of what? A ghost trap? Oh, wow. Really? There hasn't been a ghost sighting in 30 years. New York in the 80s? It's like The Walking Dead. <laughs> they show an old video, really? It's just my mom. Oh, snap. I guess we could have picked out the new gang. My mom says we're just here to pick through the rubble of his life. Don't tell me there's still a ghost on that side. Next summer. Call Ain't it time to fly, boy. I know it feels like I just seen this trip. I mean, Call just heard about it about two months ago. Call it karma. I believe that everything happens for a reason. Good 
Don't tell me that little uh four legged beast in there. Right. Dang, the car's back. Oh! It has a gunner seat? Is that slime? How's them kids driving that car? This must be a, like a little teaser. It has to be. It has to be a teaser. Because it's like that was a really short or really just at a point it was just like cut off right there at the end. Just... So it's, it's weird the way they got they had this kind of edited. But I remember that uh, I can't. Boy, I forget I ain't watched the original Ghostbusters in so long. But then they just show at least the little paw from the little uh, from the creatures from the first movie with Sigourney Reaver. Those little four legged creatures. Then they just show that, and then the little ghost that was flying wasn't that just slime? Even though slime is green, but ain't no telling how they would edit that. They would edit this. They probably have him a whole totally different color and darn so like. But now it got to the point, it's like, those guys, this, and, damn, I would say anime. This trailer pretty much shows that, yeah, they, they're gone. They're long overdue. They passed. Um, well, probably not passed, but probably just at a point where they had to put their stuff up, their toys up. Now their key is finding old artifacts. Well, not all artifacts. Old materials, old weapons, old vehicle, old clothing of the original from, from the original episode. Well, that episode, yeah, I don't know how to talk. I'm so excited. I'm sorry, y'all. I did just get out of work not too long ago, so I'm a little bit worn out, so my words are going to be all over the place, if you know what I mean. But, wow. Then you got Paul Rudd. <laughs> He's supposed to be the dirty scientist. Oh, you just found an ancient extinction. Basically. Oh, boy. I don't know what to say about Paul Rudd. But that little boy, did he play in It? The super skinny one. Not the one, not the one with the overall, the other one. Did he play in It? I'm going to have to look that up. But anyway, I'm not gonna talk too long. If you like the video, y'all know what to do. Y'all let me know some stuff on I guess I don't know nothing about it. So y'all put down in the comments some stuff that I'm probably missing. Cause it seems like I have noticed a few things, but I don't want to say it because I don't want to be like wrong one, but I, so I'm gonna be the one that I'm for sure about. You know what I mean? So Dark Light will catch y'all in the next video. Woo! That went blurry extremely quick. And peace.